Welcome back to Comic Vantage. So for today's video, we have we have a uh, little product review, and this product is brought to us by our friends at CW. It is a Snap It comic book display kit. I've actually seen these floating around for a while, and uh, I've been really curious how they work or how well they work. I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to display my comics. And this actually uh, says you can build a comic book wall. Each panel displays one comic book, snaps together for a wall display, and fits in a standard three-ring binder, which actually also comes in handy for me because I store a lot of comic books, um, some of my pricier ones, or just ones that I, I have sentimental value to and I want to look at more often, I will store them in a three-ring binder. I actually have three-ring binder sleeves, but usually I buy those from Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro. But if I can get this... Um, a two for one, might as well. So let's cut into this and see how it works. All right. Uh, each one of these bags is supposed to include 12 panels. So that's kind of awesome. And we got our bag of snaps. Ooh, apparently the bag is open. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's sealed shut, but it's not. I guess I should have double checked that. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab one of these and take a look. First off, I noticed the three rings are not punched all the way through. I guess they do that maybe for aesthetic reasons. Or maybe not, because it looks like some of these are punched all the way through. So you actually have to pop these out. Alright, let's start with that. Pop, pop, pop. Annoying pop. Hooray, that one doesn't want to come out. All right, first strike. God, it's not punched all the way through on some of these. Oh, come on. What the hell? Am I going to have to re-punch these myself with a three-ring punch? God. Okay, that is annoying. Alright, so that's down. Looks like we just have a normal top loading up here. No flap to seal it shut or anything. It's actually not bad. The front is a little... I don't know, it's clear but kind of wavy, almost like you're looking through a heat fog. <laughs> And the back actually feels a little on the cheap side. You know, it feels like a three-ring binder cover. But it's actually, you know, if you tried to rip that, it's not happening. It doesn't look like it's going to stretch very well either. So it's actually pretty well made. For the sake of this video, I'm actually going to try to destroy one. And I did. Look at that. So that actually ripped pretty easy. Yeah, so don't put a lot of pressure on this. Done. Let's go to the next one. All right. Repop out all these little tabs because of that one that I just wasted. I guess I should have tried to rip it first before I spent all that time punching these little things out. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> uh. So I'm guessing these things aren't really meant for hardcore protection. They really are meant for a display. Um, so I'm going to try. I actually have some comic books laying around and we'll see how that works. First off, we have all these little pieces of plastic. And the OCD in me will not let them stay here. Alright, gone. It's like a vampire. I must count them. Alright, so. Let's try putting comic books in here and see what happens. I actually have some laying around, since you know this is a comic book channel. So first off, here's just a book. Let's see if it fits. Oh, look at that. It actually fits with the bag and board completely in there. Now, it is a little too tall, it looks like, right there. Um, but it will fit. But I don't... You know, and... If I actually wanted to protect the comic book, 
I would leave it in this bag and board when I'm putting it in the sleeve. Just because, like I said, this really isn't made for protection. But if you plan on putting it on a wall and never touching it again, I can see doing it without it. So, actually, here's just a standard backboard. And we can see how that fits in there. Now, it does have a little lip on each side, so you can see your comic book will float around in there. But that's actually not too bad. Hmm. Oh, and actually just with the backboard by itself, you have a lot more clearance on the top and the bottom. Oh, actually this backboard's a little large on the large side, so I guess it depends on the side of the backboard, so the company you get it from will depend on how well it's going to fit in this thing. Alright, so let's throw just a standard comic in there. With no bag or board. Open this bad boy up. Let's take this board out of here. Let's throw this comic book in. <laughs> so that's how that is going to fit. You can see the top, it's pretty much right level. Or, you know, it's got a few centimeter clearance. And at the top, at the bottom, and on the sides, we got these rather large, like almost half an inch gaps on each side. But it doesn't look bad. You know, if I really just wanted to display the comics and didn't care about protecting them, I would go this way. Um, let's actually just put the backboard in there. Well, let's slide the comic book back in and see how that looks. It will be a little bit of a pain to actually get that lined up just because of the big gaps on the side. Now I wonder if they did this because it'll fit up to Silver Age size stuff or something. No, because that would still make it too tall. I mean, it's not bad. And you can still use the rings. And now let's go back to with a bag and board complete. Still got the big gaps on the side. Not bad on the top. Yeah, that would probably be the way I would go. Oh, actually. Let's actually have top loaders too. Let's see how a top loader fits in here if it does at all. These are actually modern sized top loaders. And not happening. Yeah, a top loader will not fit in there. Okay, so now we know. Top loader, no. With bag and board, yes. Plain comic, yes. With just board, yes. Um, so, first thing down. I don't think I would use them without a bag and board. Just because they're really wobbly. Unless you're not looking to protect the comic book or st actually, st you know, if you're not looking to store it. But something for display, I would say do it plain. If you want protection though, make sure you throw a bag and a board on it. Or at the very least a board. Okay, so let's punch some more of these little snap pieces out and put some of these together. Because I want to see how this whole wall thing works. That is what's really got my attention. Do do do. All right, so I got some more. And the way this is supposed to work is that we have two punch holes in the top, two punch holes in the bottom, and then three on each side. Of course, we know these are for three ring binders. <clears throat> but 
but again, if I were to use this in a three-ring binder, I would totally throw a bag and board in this as well. Unlike the Ultra Pro ones, which are really nice and thick and they have a flap, you could just stick a board in it and the comic and you're good, it'll actually protect it. This, I don't think will. That's just if you turn it upside down, it's gonna slide right out. But, okay, so we're supposed to line up the holes and use these little punch things. I guess we need a top. Oh, they're actually screw. They're actually threaded. I don't know if you can see that. So we have a male and a female end, and you screw it on. Okay, so we punch that through, put the other one on top, and then screw this on. Now I really wish one side you could use a screwdriver on, because that would make it a whole lot easier. I've actually seen these little kind of snap things. Like, I guess this isn't snap, it's actually screw-on. But they were made out of metal. Um, and usually they use them on like cheap catalogs and things like that. But they had a little screw in, so you can stick a screwdriver in it and actually screw it on. Wow, this is annoying. <laughs> okay, maybe you can just snap it on. I guess that worked, so it's not a screw. You know, it's totally threaded like a screw. But I just pushed it on and it snapped together. But damn, I can see that damaging the threads. All right, I mean, it says snap. Let's put the next one on. The thing is, though, is that when these things snap on, they stay on, apparently. Yeah, there's the front, there's the back. I got one more to go. Cool thing is, once you get the first two down, the next two, or the last one, just sort of lines up by itself. a little weirded out by that but hey if it works it works so then you can slide one comic in and you slide your next comic in and you're at yourself the display you're supposed to be able to hang this on the wall it's actually pretty cool I like that I can see where it would get kind of annoying to start putting more than one of these together at a time. <clears throat> so I would suggest doing a row, doing a row, and then connecting top and bottom. I think that would be the easiest way than trying to do a top and a bottom at the same time, or a top and a side. Do do do. All right, come on. Here we go. All right, another one down. I guess I should have had these pre-peeled. <clears throat> yes, this is what you want to do on your lazy Saturday afternoon. You want to watch me pop little dots out of plastic. I'm still not fully convinced that these are not supposed to screw together. I mean, one side is a screw side anyway. I wish I could see in there a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I don't see threads in that. So they are supposed to just snap together. <clears throat> okay. Well, now you know. Don't try to screw it. It'll just drive you insane. But, snap them. Next. All right. 
right. Okay, so here's the next one. And then we're supposed to be able to combine them. So, let's start. And I would definitely use the table as a third hand because if you do not, I think it'll be a huge pain. I'm losing my snaps. Also, you want to pay attention to which way your sleeves are opening. I would hate to have to take this apart and redo it. Okay, so now we have those done. Let's grab a couple more comics and pop them on in. And our wall begins to take shape. Look at that. That is actually very cool. For protection purposes, I would say no go. Um, the, yeah, they're just, it's way too flimsy. And I, you can clearly see it was not made for protection. Um, and I would not use them in a three ring binder as well. There are way better options to use in your three ring binder, specifically Ultra Pro. I love Ultra Pro uh, sleeves and bags and boards and three ring binder. Um, but for displaying, if you want to actually make a comic book wall, this is pretty awesome. And you can buy more than one kit. And I imagine, you know, expand this thing out to infinity and beyond. You could really just do an entire wall. Like I said, though, when you're putting a couple tips and tricks when putting it together, use the table as a third hand so you can just push down and make sure your openings are all facing the same direction because, wow, that would be a huge bummer if you had to take this thing apart and put it back together. I actually think I will buy another kit and uh, actually make a wall. This is really cool. I mean, it's a very unique product. And I, for one, am glad Ultra or uh, BCW actually put this out. I know I keep dropping the name Ultra Pro in my BCW video, which is probably going to upset BCW. They actually follow my channel. But, you know, there's plenty of room in my heart for everyone. Every product has its own special place. BCW will be glad to know that I use all of their top loaders and their boxes and their picture frames, and now I'm going to be using these. So... BCW, thumbs up. Good product. I like it. So, start with the bad. Flimsy. Very flimsy. Not good for protection. I would not use these for protection or long term storage in a three ring binder. The good, this is going to make an awesome wall display. I can totally see this standing up and, um, you know, being able to change comic books out when you want. You know, just take it out, put a new one in. Uh, one thing I did want to try, so let's pop one of these bad boys in here. So, there we go. It just pushes together, right there. But now let's see how easy it comes apart. Oh geez, it doesn't. Wow, that actually took some force. A lot more force getting apart than putting together. Plus, you're not going to have to worry about this thing coming apart on you while it's hanging on your wall. Now, these rings up here, though, like I said, it is a little on the flimsy side. So if you decide to hang this up, say you're using thumbtacks or nails or whatever you're doing, you may want to look into maybe reinforcing these somehow. Clear dots with a hole in the middle, just for a little bit of reinforcement, especially if this thing starts getting larger and larger. Uh, you may even want to decide to leave an extra snap out and use that for extra support in the middle. 
I will definitely play around with this and find out the best ways to do it. Other than that, I mean, this thing is pretty amazing. I like it. And I will definitely use it. So, thumbs up. Way to go, BCW. I like it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know, like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's a little icon over there. It's either here in this corner if you're watching on your cell phone or over there if you're watching on your computer screen. And just click it. And it'll subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ding that bell as well so you get my notifications. And, uh, you know, it keeps you up to date on whenever I put out new videos. I'm actually putting out at least two a week now, which is really awesome. I'm loving it. And uh, to everybody that already subscribes, thanks for watching. And uh, to everyone who is now subscribing, thanks for watching. And like always, take it easy.